Next question I have is our secrets question. And your secret question is, what is the secret to vision? Okay, so vision, um, you know, like it says in the Bible, without a vision, people perish. So you, mm. you have to have vision, you know, <laughs> uh, vision is what drives you. You're going somewhere, right? And so as long as you have something out there, then that, that's your vision. And sometimes, you know, we have vision for things and it takes years and years and years, but you know, that's what, that's what keeps you going. That's what it does. The other prophet says, write the vision down and don't, you know, though it tarries, wait for it, you know, so you don't give up, you don't quit. And, you know, you look at all the people that had a vision that had things that they prayed for and sought the Lord for, uh, like Abraham, you know, he had a son, he was blessed and all this stuff, but it didn't mean a lot till he got his son. He's like, I want my son, you know? And then, uh, so that took 25 years and you see Joseph, he had dreams and he, you see what he had to go through to get to his vision. And so the vision keeps you going. That, that's it. That's the secret. Keep, have a vision, go after the vision. And, and that's, that's what you need. Yeah. And if, and, and if it's not a, um, what's the best way to say this? Like, you know, when God gives you the, the, the plan, right? Like, because, it's usually seems impossible. Right. <laughs> um, and, but you hold on to it. Like there, there's nothing more power. I love what you said. There's nothing more powerful than, than your why or your vision, because there will be times it's not, if it's when that down, when that valley happens, right. It happens. It, I'm sure every entrepreneur that's listening to this has had a peak and a valley, right? So when you're in the valleys, it's that vision and that, um, and that why for what you're, why you're doing what you're doing that, that carries you through that valley back to the next peak. So um, it goes that. peace and assurance part too, because yay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, <laughs> with so things can be rough, but he's still with you. And so that's, that's good. Yeah. And I always look back at the valleys and I was like, and I think, wow, God has really, really grown me in that valley. Cause that's really, I think really that's what God is doing. He can, he's preparing you for the next peak because sometimes you have to get down in the valley in order to be, the right person and it, it's happened all the time in the bible right a lot of the people that god brought stuff to weren't up to the challenge right they they felt inadequate um but god equips us right and then he brings us through the things that we need to go through in order to get to where he and we want to go yeah he, he loves he loves for us to trust him that's yeah. really what he's looking for yeah. And so, so you learn in the tough spots, you, when you can do nothing, you feel totally wasted, lost, you know, weak, then, then, you know, okay, well, God definitely got me through there. It, it reminds me of uh, that. I don't, it's not a meme, but it's um, a picture that I've seen plenty of times where um, it's, there's only one set of footsteps and it's right. because God carried you. 